Hello and welcome back to Joey Cocktails, the show where I make cocktails. My name is Joey and in today's episode I thought we would try making a new cocktail, a tiki cocktail, because um, I wanted to try something with bourbon in it. It's been a while since I've had bourbon, so I wanted to try a tiki drink with bourbon. Why not? So I am reading the Smuggler's Cove book, uh, which has everything you need to know about anything tiki drink related. It's pretty, uh, pretty detailed and has a lot of drinks in it. So this is the recipe I found was the Halakulani cocktail. And in fact, it does have one and a half ounces of bourbon in it. Um, this says here it was uh, from the Halakulani Hotel. There's a bar called House Without a Key on Waikiki Beach. So it seems pretty interesting. I kind of want to get a taste of it. So um, one of the things it calls for is lemon juice. However, I did see a fellow YouTuber uh, from How to Drink put lime juice instead of lemon juice when he made his version of the Halakalani, and I'm going to follow suit with that. So first things first, you need your shaker. Have you seen my jigger? The jigger is? Hidden in plain sight. Anyway, what I think is the coolest part of this drink is it sounds like that Christmas song. Malakaliki maka is the thing to say when you're drinking a Halakulani cocktail. All right, so first of things first, we need our half ounce of lime juice instead of lemon juice to get the party started. Ice. Ice. Half an ounce of lime juice. Ooh, yummy. Pineapple juice. We're gonna do some fresh pineapple juice from the wonderful canned wonderland of Dole. Also Hawaiian. Also Hawaiian, but I think this is a product of Philippines if I saw it correctly the last time. Product of the Philippines. But it's Hawaiian, it has. It crossed oceans. All right, half an ounce of pineapple juice. I'm already gonna like the flavor of this, I think. And we need fresh orange juice, but if you don't like squeezing citrus, you can just go get some fresh, organic, not from concentrate orange juice and kind of taste similar to me. At least. All the purists out there are gonna be like, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. And that's true, I'm just a guy at his house making drinks. I don't know what I'm doing. What else did it call for? Look <laughs> at <laughs> the recipe. Uh, a quarter ounce of demerara syrup, but if you're not fancy and don't know how to make demerara syrup, at the end of the uh, Smuggler's Cove book that I was just showing you by Martin Kate, that's his name, right? Martin Kate? Martin and Rebecca Kate, they show you how to make all these syrups. So I'm just gonna use a regular little simple syrup. So we'll use a... Yeah, how to make syrups. <laughs> Quarter ounce of simple syrup. It says half a tablespoon, half a teaspoon of grenadine. This is not the best quality grenadine in the world. This is just roses that you can get at any, any liquor store. So if my measurements are right, this is a quarter teaspoon and we need a half teaspoon. So we're gonna go ahead and do a half teaspoon of roses which should be two of these guys. Because a quarter and quarter makes a half, right? Badoink. All right, so we got all our syrups in there. We got our grenadine in there. Ah, the best part, the bourbon. I'm using a Flying Ace bourbon. This was a double gold award winning cast strength bourbon. Uh, straight out of Loudoun County in Virginia. So if you're in the DMV area, make sure you try Flying Ace. They have some fantastic spirits. So you need an ounce and a half of Zebo Bun. We'll call that an ounce and spill half of it. Why not? Eh, there's the line. That's an ounce and a half of a bourbon. 
Shit, it looked kind of pretty. Doesn't it look like a, um, a little Hawaiian sunset. Maybe that's why it's made in, it originated in Hawaii, because they're like, oh, this is pretty. We could sell a lot of these. Shake. Boom, bada boom. Chilled glass. And this is supposed to be double strained, but if you're someone who does not have a miniature strainer and all you have is the gate for a gated pour, I think that's probably okay. And we'll just pour that all into the glass. It's very red and I'm assuming that's from the grenadine, from our not so genuine grenadine, but it should be uh, very tasty all the same. Last but not least, as with any bourbon cocktail, one of the essentials is an Angostura bitter. No. There you go. Where is it? No, I'm looking at the nutrition facts. Other way? Slightly more? That's fine. Yes. Your Angostura bitters, that's what you want. Beautiful. So all we're doing is a dash of Angostura bitters. And that should just about do it for this cocktail. For a dash, it looks like this. Dash. Done. And that is your Halakulani cocktail, which I've never tried before, so I'm kind of interested to, interested to see what it tastes like. I'm not getting much bourbon out of this. It's good, it kind of tastes like if you were to pour some kind of sorbet on bourbon. I like it, it's very tiki. I could imagine myself sitting on the beach in Waikiki just kicking back at the Halakalani Hotel and enjoying one of these. Very good. All the same, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy uh, this recipe of the Halakalani cocktail. Take care.